uh, 20 past seven in the morning and uh, we are here with our bags outside uh, Thai House Beach Resort about to begin our journey to uh, Koh Samui. Are you excited Zoe? I'm very excited to go to Koh Samui. And I am really, really, really sad to leave but the place we've got in Koh Samui looks pretty beautiful so I think we're going to have a lovely time there. And yeah. we're going to watch the yacht race there. Whee. Whee. journeys go that wasn't too bad um, just got to our room which is small but perfectly formed but then um, it's all right because this is the view it's pretty good Cheers. raining in paradise so it's our first morning in Koh Samui. Just going for a little stroll down the beach to uh, visit grandfather and grandmother rock, I think, which are amusing genital shaped rocks that are on the island. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that'll be a laugh. And there is the Chody Rock, as they call it here. I mean, it is a rock that's shaped like a peepee. Very, very good, very impressive nature. We've come up to the viewpoint at the top of the hill for, uh, well, quite a splendid view. I kind of felt like it might be a little bit too targeted at kids. Uh, I don't know. I realised I've uh, forgotten to sort of show where we are in relation to these. So these are the beach huts, this one's ours, there's the bar, and there's the sea. Here's the sunburn I've taken today. How are you feeling on our last day? You're gonna find it tough to say goodbye to this view. Yeah, I will, but we're going somewhere just as nice, I'm sure. Now we're walking to our new hotel, 12 minutes down the road. Life goals. Now we've arrived at our new place with views of the pool and a very nice room indeed and a very nice occupant of that room. Well that all went incredibly smoothly, uh, we got to the hotel room and the guy was just like yeah just pay whenever. Um, so we've now come down to a beach bar to uh, just hang out and chill for the rest of the day. This is our new view. Yeah, we definitely made the right move, like moving here. It's just uh, super chilled, lovely room. Um, yeah, we don't get to wake up on the beach every morning, but it's about a minute walk away and the room is just glorious. We've got aircon, so nice. We have just tried these uh, delicious drinks called Spies. Um, what do you think? Delicious. It tastes a bit like classic Spanish drink with calamucho, which is red wine and coke, which sounds disgusting, but it's actually really delicious. It's kind of what Spanish teenagers drink. It's and that's what this tastes like. The toughest decision she'll make all day. Breakfast. Lady down here in the sea has got a cig on the go at the same time. Impressive. But after about four days of being on Koh Samui, four days? Yeah. Uh, today is our first official beach there. I haven't even been in the sea yet. So uh, yeah, going to take a dip. It's beautiful, clear blue skies. A pretty perfect day for some time on the beach. Yeah, we follow Jez on his quest. Reach a jet ski lane. Will he make it? Come on, Jazz, keep swimming. So 
So that was an absolutely lovely day on the beach, but we have been uh, thoroughly foot shamed today by the ladies going past on the beach offering foot scrubs. Both of us have uh, received harsh criticism for the state of our feet. Me more so than Zoe, it has to be said, but yeah, they don't hold back. So here we are in uh, Harry's bar. Zoe trying very hard not to get any of that delicious meal mm -hmm. on a nice white top. Um, this was Zoe's choice and you'll see why in a second. The somewhat familiar signage. You're a restaurant at Harry. <laughs> I'm a what? So it is about 10 to 12 and uh, after a quick disco nap we are up again because we're going to watch the football. And yeah, Zoe is a little shadowy figure at the back of our balcony. But she is there, aren't you? I am here. I do exist. <laughs> It's now 4 a.m. That was not a good start to the tournament for Scotland. A uh, bit of a battering. A very entertaining night out. Would you concur? I would concur. I feel bad for Scotland though. That was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a massacre. But next, next, next time will be different. I think. My expert analysis. <laughs> what day is it today, though? It's officially three months till we come back to the UK, which still feels like a really long time away. You know, three months is ages, but it's just crazy that nine months is already gone. You could have had a baby in this time. Could have, but instead I've birthed memories. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to mark only three months left, three quarters of the trip done, than coming down to the beach. You know, Benny, you look in the loud yellow. <laughs> so it's just uh, having a lovely time petting this little puppy. This is a, a request that we made. Trusty steed. This is my trusty co pilot. So, this morning we have hopped on our scooters and uh, headed out to explore the island. At the moment, we've just come to, to Wayne Beach where we're going to have a bit of breakfast and then it's on to the Big Buddha statue. Yeah, Big um, Buddha. So far, I feel like I'm driving okay. Oh. Not done it for I years, think you're doing a stellar job. Very impressed. Mm. Very <laughs> this here is Chowang Beach. What do you think? Oh, this is more the um, like party end of town, I think. So uh, we are staying in the sort of slightly quieter area. But yeah, it looks very pretty. But I like our area. I think the Mai is good. I really like the Mai. I think we're in a really good, a really good bit of town. Everything you want. There's about a dozen Seven Elevens and four Irish bars and a Harry Potter themed, but not really themed restaurant. Yeah, very, I very, really, really like it. Guardians of the gate. You can just see the Buddha poking his head out around there. And there, the majesty of the big Buddha. I like this little monkey like begging or praying or whatever he's doing. Very sweet little gold monkey. So it's very exciting because we've come to the Capybara restaurant and cafe and apparently there are capybaras inside you can hang with. So unfortunately we didn't go into the Capybara cafe because uh, we had to wait for like 45 minutes and it was also quite dear as you'd expect I suppose for something that lets you eat with capybaras running around your feet but uh, yeah we're on a schedule pretty cool 
So out there across the water is uh, Koh Panyang. Little refreshment on the way to the waterfalls. Passion fruit, apple, sour lady. The spider just totally looks like he's moving in stop motion. So we've now come to waterfall one, which is there on the island. Oh, it's cute, <laughs> isn't it? It's cute. It's not quite Victoria Falls, but still pretty nice although you would not want to swim in that water it does not look clean or safe it looks the sort of place where beasts may lurk the elephant getting fed just looks a bit sad it's making the same movement over and over again after a short bike ride where we missed our turning but it was a very hard to spot um, but we are now here at waterfall 2 just doing a trek through the jungle to reach it the guy did warn us that it's probably going to be pretty unimpressive because the water's down at uh, this time of year but we shall see as far as we can tell this is waterfall 2 but I can't see no waterfall at all. Maybe there's a lesson in this, so what do you think the lesson yeah, would be? Something to do with not chasing waterfalls. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. yeah that, that is wise, wise words. And now we're off in search of the natural pool. Gaze in wonder, Zoe. Gaze in wonder at the natural pool. Mm. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, yeah. Just being chased away from the natural pool by a wasp. Uh, I suppose that is a pretty natural experience. Well, that was a pretty fun little jaunt around the roads of Koh Samui. Uh, the waterfall's slight disappointment, I guess, but uh, the Buddha was very impressive. I think that was like driving for four hours. So uh, not used to that. Um, but we got back in one piece and that's all that counts and we wore helmets because we're very responsible take note parents Have a great day and yeah just you now just re relax until 2am once again after a little disco nap we are up and ready to watch england in their euros opener score prediction is up um, i think it will be 2-1 to england get out of my head i know that's what you said Oh, I but, uh, I did also think that before. But yeah, come on England. Oh, a strong already. Well, I think we can both agree that was a deeply uninspiring start to the tournament. Yes, we got the three points, but phew, Southgate's football is hard to watch. He agrees. The, the dog agrees had enough it's walking <laughs> on um but hey three points who knows what will happen or what will have happened by the time this airs i haven't done this for a while no indeed farewell sweet room so it is uh, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, and we are just sat by the pool of our lovely digs waiting for our taxi to arrive because yeah we are bidding farewell to sweet, sweet Koh Samui today. Loved it here. So if I had to move anywhere, have anywhere we've been, I think this would be, this would be a high contender. It's great. It's just really, really beautiful and chilled here, but we have to move on. Yeah, it's sad to leave, but a new adventure awaits. Now we're just waiting at the ferry terminal. Uh, it's a short journey than we thought. It should only be half an hour. I think we might be on a high-speed ferry. So that's uh, very exciting for us. Look at her face. That was a very, very short taxi ride. Um, but we are now here at Coco Garden Beach Resort. Um, we're a little bit early, but hopefully they'll let us check in. Oh, yeah. This'll do. Well, we made it. Cheers. 
Christmas. Nice. So we just had a good lunch at our uh, resort. Now we're just heading out into town to have a little bit of an explore. I think this is the first ice cream we've had since we've been island hopping, isn't it? I think so, yeah. That's delicious. So it is morning on our first full day in uh, Koh Phangan. Uh, this is our room. It was a quite a good night's sleep. We did have to do a little bit of battle against some cockroaches in the night, but uh, we won out. Um, yeah, it feels quite strange just sort of waking up uh, somewhere new. It really kind of felt like we put down roots in Koh Samiri. I mean, in my case, literally, I finished reading roots there, but uh, yeah, it's uh, we're traveling again and it's quite a strange sensation after spending quite a bit of time in one place. This is our morning view. <laughs> Even by the beach, the hard work never ends. She's a grafter. And she's also got her headphones in, so she can't hear me. What are you doing? Well, we've just spent a uh, very pleasant day reading, lying on the beach. I've read the whole of uh, Brittany's biography, which was a cracking read, actually. Poor girl been through a lot. Um, but yeah, we've just sat in the sunshine, really, and relaxed. And now we're sat in the fading sunshine about to watch the sunset. A pretty good first day. <laughs> These coconut milk ice lattes are the perfect way to start your day. It tastes like a bounty. Cheers. Cheers. Free shot. The bill comes with uh, a recommended spliff of the day. Just say no to the spliff of the day. That's what I said. Cheers. 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 So we just watched the England game. Thought so. I mean, it was not very. So after the disappointment of last night's England game, this morning we are up and heading into town to get some breakfast and then we're gonna book our tickets to Koh Tao. Excited though. I am excited, yes. So for breakfast we've come to this food court although unfortunately it looks like, oh no, some of it is open. It's pretty banging bad me. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was incredibly easy. We've just been to the multi-purpose port of Koh Phangan and bought our tickets, 450 each. Pretty good deal uh, for a two-hour ferry journey. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's everything we have to do today. So to the beach, I think. To the beach. So we did go to the beach and then the next day we set off for Koh Tao. And you can find out what we did there in the next video.